Hi guys, it's Harshit here from Harshit's Days. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another book review. So this is the book, The Deadly Warrior Recipe. So this book is written by Ranjit Lal. He has written this book so nicely and you should try this book if you're a foodie and if you're really into food, you love food, this is food, that is food, you should really try this book. Or if you don't like food, you're not into that much, or if you like lots of blasts, lot of elephant rides, car rides, you're seeing a lot of cars, you should also try this book. This book is written for every one of you out there. I think that you will like this book because I've seen that many people like fantasy and they don't like other books. So this book is a mixture of both fantasy and somewhat it makes you feel like, wow, did this happen really? Is it a, is it a true story? Or, um, they just gave you a link and I was so into the book. So I thought like, well, this is true and I just searched it up on Google. But no, this is what a book's power is. This is what the book made for me do. So this book is all about this Kamargar family. They have been passing down a master book and a code book for generations. They travel to a lot of places in India and on more other places. If they like that food, if they like that, they get to know that recipe and they write it in the master book in the Kamargari code. So they write that code in the, in the code book so that even if some danger is there, they can just save that code book and they can just, uh, you know, they can make sure that nobody's going to take that or going to steal the recipes. So after that, uh, there is this little Kamargar princess called Zafira. Zafira has a lot of friends at her new school. She's never went to school. So this is the first time she's visiting school and her new friends make her so welcome at school. And that she just comes home and says, wow, uh, just, her father is Kamargar, uh, the king of Kamargar. So she says, Daddy, I love these friends so much. I'm, one day I'm going to invite them to our house and I'm going to have a lot of fun with them for one day. At that time, when they come, Barfi, the younger brother of Yogita, sees that uh, uh, the, uh, the Chota Ma Chote Maharaja has gone into, into some gambling debt. So this gambling debt builds up a lot of story and a lot of uh, comedy also. You can find a lot of car chases here. So might not have a lot of violence, but it comes to a point where, you know, you can be decapitated at a second or not, and someone comes to save you. So this is a lot of fantasy. So if you're really into that, please try this book and comment down below how this book was. So bye guys.